Hey guys, this is Azdajiki, and today I will be showing you my touchscreen in Minecraft. It fully works, and it's pretty awesome, so let's jump in and show you guys how it works. So at the moment, it is locked, so we got to unlock it. So we're going to press the home button, that'll bring up the display. Now all we got to do is slide to unlock, like that. Now to bring us to the app screen. Now on the first page here, we have two apps. We have Paint and we have a screen resolution test. That way you guys can see that it is a true one by one pixel display. And now we're just gonna head over to the second page of apps right now and I can show you that that works as well. So we're gonna do a swipe to get there. As you can see, the bottom bar down there has switched to number two as it was on number one. Now on this page, we have a daylight sensor app, which is right there. Now we can easily go back to the first page as well just by swiping in the opposite direction, just like any other touch device. Now we're back on the first page, load up the apps, here they are. And now we can, at any time, easily lock it again. And that'll bring us back to the blank screen, ready to be unlocked at will. One thing to quickly mention is that this thing is 100% vanilla Minecraft. There are zero mods used, zero modifications to my jar or to texture packs or anything. This is completely vanilla, and yeah. So, let me just list off some specs of this thing. It is only 2.5 blocks tall. It is a 16 by 9 pixel display. So it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Just thought that'd be a cool amount to do. So there is 144 individual pixels. And they can all be on or off at any time. So they're all 1 by 1 pixels. And yeah, if you guys look at the size here, it is truly unbelievable that I got this to work. It's quite insane. Right, so I'm going to jump in and show you guys a couple of the apps and how they work and what they do. So, the first app up here on the first page is Paint. So all we got to do is stand on the button and it'll start launching. Now it's just going to present us with a blank screen because it's, it's Paint. So we can paint whatever we want just by simply standing on the pixel. So here we go, you see that lights up. And all you got to do is just walk the path of whatever you want to draw. And they will light up under your feet. Let's draw me a symbol. Yee yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then what you want to do once you've finished, or if you want to draw a different one, all you got to do is just exit and open up the app again. So here I'll go back to the home screen. Like that. And we can easily just stand on it again just to reload the app. Then we'll be presented with a blank canvas again. So yeah, all these pixels can be triggered individually, so you can draw many, many different things. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Move on to the second app. So the second app on the first screen right here is just a one by one pixel test. So it'll be able to show you guys that it is in fact one by one pixel. It is not trickery, there's not only some that work, they definitely all do. So it's just going to draw every second pixel as being on. And that's pretty much all there is to this one. And then we can just head back to the home screen and check out the third and final app. So I'll show you this last app. It is a light sensor. So all we've got to do is swipe down the bottom here to swap over to the second page of apps. And here it is right here. All we're going to do now is just step on it, and it'll start launching. Now here's the display itself. It's like a progress bar, and that'll adjust to how much light there is in the area. So let's 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 change the time. So time set. Let's do it to zero. Obviously that's going to be less than what it is now, so it's going to go down. Let's do five thousand because that's a fairly big number. It should be up near the top somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Uh, let's do 15,000. Now that will be zero light because that's during night time. And boom, it's going to go all the way back down. So now let's return to the home screen. Just like that. And what's really neat is it'll actually present us on the same page where we left. So here we are again on the second page. Now I can easily, at any time, just lock it. And it's all done. So at this point in time, you guys are probably wondering, so... How does this work? <laughs> it's only 2.5 blocks thick, and the display is extremely high resolution, and there's no wiring to be seen. How on earth is this working? Well...
So there will be a download link in the description below if you guys want to try it out for yourselves. Um, so basically, within the next week, I'll be bringing out a video on exactly how this was accomplished and explaining exactly how the different mechanisms and things I use to make this work, work. Um, yeah, so that'll be coming out in the next week or so, I hope. So stay, stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you, if you enjoyed the video at all, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to read all your comments. I, I do read them all, so yeah, feel free to leave one behind. And yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.